Welcome uh, Gemini's. Oh my God, Gemini's. <laughs> Welcome Gemini's. This is your seasons. Oh my God, Gemini's. All right. So Gemini's, this is your season. This is your Gemini season. Um, we are looking at abundance and prosperity, money and prosperity. And this is a really wonderful alignment of energies that is um, going to be happening for you Gemini's okay so Gemini's for you guys this is going to be different your season begins from May 21st until June 20th and for you guys it's going to be different for you because you guys have to listen to whenever which week your birthday falls in okay so you got to check out the week your birthday falls in and that is the week that is going to give you some sort of an idea of what to expect of moving on in this year so Gemini's this is your season what I'm seeing so far is that um, success is going to be here um, your materialistic stability is going to be good and some sort of a healing is going to be happening so um, if uh, some of you Gemini's have anything to do with a Pisces cancer or scorpion um, whether this woman is a this woman is 50 years and older um, or any Pisces cancer or scorpion you are going to be um, recognizing what is transpiring some of you Gemini's there is it's going to be a very emotional hair okay remember Gemini's you are ambitious your independence and you have patience okay and it is good if you have lucky number eight nine and ten it is good to use what you guys have is uh, the energy of the Sun which is 19 3 and 17 19 3 and 17 um, it is just so um, um, wonderful because uh, um, the last three weeks is going to be powerful really the last three weeks is going to be very powerful um, the second week is good to do things the third week is also the energy of the Empress is good to do things a lot of you Gemini's are going to be having issues with your wife and your mother in this year okay and remember your zodiac year begins the day after your birthday until 2022 the day before your birthday okay it is um, good to um, uh, um, get a birthday reading and um, um, by reaching out you can get a birthday reading uh, that would be good for you guys to have a birthday reading because that is powerful and it is tailored um, for you guys to understand what is happening um, from your birthday at this time to your birthday next year okay um the season success a whole lot of you could be having um, success in this year when it comes up to uh, work or uh, lawsuits and that sort of a thing a lot of you Gemini's could be having some really successful moments so be aware of this so so um, not only success but I see um, materialistic stability and I see if you were sick or having some sort of a major health problems uh, you could be overcoming this now um, people who were born the first week is about the week of the 21st until the 27 21st until the 27 and we have uh, um, this energy and this energy is about um, uh, the water it's an emotional energy so if you were born in the week of uh, the 21st until the 27 it's going to be a year where you're emotional and the emotional um, is the feminine energy where things have been happening to you uh, it is affecting you on a deep emotional level and it has to do with mother and wives okay so you men could be having issues with your wives um, your wives could be having problems with your husband and it is very deep and if, uh, women are going to be feeling um, this emotional shift in their world okay because this is a situation it's it's on a higher cellular level where you have to deal and face the emotional imbalances that was happening and transpiring in your world 
so when we receive this energy of uh, this uh, woman because this, um, this is a mature energy and it's supposed to be a mature energy the person doesn't have to be mature you don't have to be mature some of you could be becoming emotional mature so it's a timeline where you're going to be becoming so emotionally mature and this is going to be so good and what is transpiring here is that uh, your life is going to be uh, removing some sort of uh, obstacles issues uh, instability and you're going to be learning to be uh, dealing with things um, more mature okay is as if you become very mature of how to um, deal with your emotional problems and this is going to be good so some of you could be getting um, you know soft soft inside all right so a lot of you women are going to be recognizing who are your enemy a lot of you are going to be recognizing that a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person was your worst enemy okay some of you women are going to be recognizing that a man has been your greatest enemy so if you notice this is the energy of the enemy and it's a male figure okay so some of you is your boss some of you women could be recognizing that your boss has been keeping you back for a very long time whether your boss is a female energy or a masculine energy this person could have been the one that has been blocking you from moving up the career ladder for receiving something some of you men who were married or in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or scorpion person could be recognizing that this person was your worst enemy and you weren't even aware of this because ladies and gentlemen sometimes you can um, get yourself connected in some sort of a karmatic relationship and not even really recognizing that these uh, um, karmatic energy and the situation that is transpiring is that people are just uh, um, being so inconsiderate okay they could connect with you just for materialistic wealth and stability and I see this is something that some of you have to deal with and however this is transpiring ladies and gentlemen you have to recognize that uh, you have to be very emotional mature to deal with this issue so it's going to be a year of uh, learning to be emotionally mature for the people who were born the 21st of May until the 27th of June all right so it's um, it's not going to be a year of uh, exciting um, situation moving forward uh, no uh, it is going to be a year of you learning um, to be very um, emotional mature okay all right let's look at the second week the second week is for the people who have birthdays on the 28th until the 3rd of June the 28th of May until the 3rd of June BAM you guys have the energy of the Sun congratulations congratulations you guys and the energy of the Sun is about receiving and having energy it's about um, you know standing your ground the energy of the Sun is about maturity it's about feeling good it's about being so energized that you're you can overcome anything so congratulations it's going to be a good year and it's going to be a year a very very successful year for a lot of you because when we look you have uh, yield yourself in the last year coming in this year and you're now recognizing how very powerful you are and and that the maturity of who you are is just um, unbelievable it's as if you have a new lease on life whatever that was happening and transpiring in your world is as if you find a way to overcome all of these issues and situation and you're you're really so powerful more powerful than you were ever um, you know it's as if you have figured out a way to bring back happiness and joy in your life and this is going to be extremely extremely positive a lot of people are going to be recognizing that the world is not what it uh, seems to be and uh, um, you are going to be just running with uh, 
the flow okay just running with the flow you're not going to be like working against this when we have the energy of the Sun it's 19 so it's 10 and it's all about new beginnings intuition it's about leadership so a lot of you are going to be um, climbing the career ladder it's about courage okay willpower and this is going to be a good but um, the thing about it it is about listening to your higher self understanding who you are being so very powerful regaining a whole lot of uh, knowledge wisdom guidance uh, okay and you know if you recognize the energy of the goal it's about the spirituality compassion prosperity and wisdom and this is going to be absolutely fantastic so you know you're in a really positive timeline in this year there is no question about this you are at a stage of uh, you know reconnecting with yourself and this is going to be absolutely positive so nothing that comes within is going to be affecting you so expect some sort of a good news this year is a year where good news a whole lot of good news is going to be um, coming in for a lot of you this is a lucky year this is a very very successful year this is a year where success anything you try at success is going to be a yes all right number 88 this year is going to be bringing you a lot of positive situation in your world and a lot of positive ambition your ambition is going to be booming okay you're just going to be booming out of um you know when you finish with this year you're going to be thinking oh my god because people get one lucky year okay and this is going to be your lucky year and may if you have not seen it right after your birthday you're going to be seeing it so expect some sort of a very very good news very good news is going to be coming in it's going to be a very successful year where a lot of successful event is going to be happening in your world anything you go for go for it if you're thinking about making some sort of a changes in your life um, buying a new house uh, uh, going for a new apartment uh, um, buying a new car investing um, it's going to be good you guys are going to be very very successful in this timeline so go for it whatever you want whatever you decide to do go for it because it's going to be extremely extremely successful all right so that is um, so powerful it's you know it's about you regaining some sort of a stability that you have lost um, a lot of you have lost some sort of a stability in your world and it's as if you have lost the energy um, to uh, uh, accomplish what you want and all of a sudden in this year things are just going to be removing 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 out of your world it is a very successful year so run with it okay you have like gold liquid gold run with it let's look at the third week people who were born in the third week the week of the 4th of June until the 10th of June we have the energy of the Empress and the energy of the Empress affects um, you mothers affects your mother affects situation with you and your mother affects um, situation with you and your wife okay and it's always about the mother and the wife energy but it's about creativity and it's about materialistic wealth and stability so this is really really powerful it's about love it's about um, co-creating with other people all right it's about um, creating your financial success and creating your financial flow so this is absolutely positive because these are energies of maturity It's as if a lot of you are becoming very very mature in whatever you do and try to accomplish in your life and this is going to be turning your world upside down because a lot of you could become mothers a lot of you could be getting married a lot of you could be thinking about yeah it's a time for me um, to find that right man or it to, it's time for me to find that right woman I want um, to have someone in my world 
I want to share my world with someone some of you could be meeting your soulmate or twin flame and a lot of you who have been trying to get pregnant for a very long time and it wasn't happening this is a year that it is going to be happening so you know this is um, absolutely powerful in so many ways because it's also about the creative people the people who are very creative dynamic um, a lot of bright ideas is going to be coming up for the entrepreneurs and this is going to be shifting your world but this is very positive because the energy behind it is about healing healing yourself healing um, the female energy within you so you could be a male and you feel more feminine energy and you're going to be um, embracing that and that is going to be good so if you're a Gemini um, and you are a Gemini because this is the Gemini season in Europe um, the Gemini's you're going to be embracing the feminine energy of who you are so this is absolutely wonderful this is the energy of number three it's about body mind and soul it's about building up okay it's about being creative but also it's about healing and being very mature about whatever you decide to accomplish in your world all right so we see a lot of you if you decide and this was what I was saying to a lot of you that um, you could be healing yourself healing the relationship between your mother and some of you could be moving back home and by moving back home you become very mature and is learning to deal with issues and situation that you had um, not worked on with your mom your parents some of you are definitely going to be moving in together whether you're going to be getting married but you're definitely going to be moving in together a lot of you are going to be buying new houses changing um, um, changing residence relocating and a lot of you are going to be starting your home business so this is going to be absolutely wonderful and if you have a business you're going to be seeing changes in this year with your business and if you decide to go back to school and study you're going to be um, um, receiving the financial aid that you need and you're going to be passing with I grades and mark so in this year you are dealing um, with a new start and new beginnings okay it's it's about new start and new beginnings healing relationship um, with the fem the feminine side of you but also understanding who you are and how you are going to be dealing um, um, with maturity and um, accessing um, the power of the female side of you in whatever way it is transpiring but also expect wealth okay wealth expect wealth um, and why I say this is because whenever um, the energy of the Empress is here and it is the energy of Venus it's all about love okay and a lot of you could be finding yourself pregnant and you're going to be changing resident and uh, you're going to be creating a, a more um, healthy environment for your kids so this is going to be good because you're going to be financially and if you are a single parent and you were hoping to move to another place and you were thinking oh it's not going to happen because I, I'm an um, only um, uh, I have one income no 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 um, it's going to be happening that you have a second income that is going to be helping you and you're going to be finding that place that you want to be in that environment a positive environment for your kids so so um, whatever is going on a lot of you who want to change your jobs a lot of you some sort of a, a business offer is going to be coming up a job offer is going to be coming up take it take it take it run with it and do not even look back okay I do love you guys so happy birthday again it's going to be a powerful year there is no question about it this year is going to be absolutely absolutely powerful for you guys all right Gemini's let's move on the fourth week the fourth week as the energy of the 11th until the 20th 11th until the 20th so Gemini what's happening energy of the star this is about success it's about success it's about healing um, issues problems that you were going through whenever the energy of the star comes up um, this is the energy of um, yeah the star it's about balancing okay 
and this is um, this is temperance um, and this energy with the star energy is about healing it's the angel there's two prominent angels and it is the star and it is temperance and whenever we look at temperance this is changes um, 14 which is five it's about changes it's about changes with emotional imbalance situation that a lot of you were going through it's about you being successfully overcoming um, any problems and issue whether health wise whatever that was going on so this is a year where healing is inevitable for you guys it's about healing it's about balancing it's about learning to go back and balance out your cells okay you are working with double energy 14 and 5 transition transition within your cell transition within relationship transition within a whole lot of um, problems that a whole lot of you were having and dealing with a whole lot of transition is going to be coming up for you so wonderful wonderful alignment of energies is going to be happening and you are going to be so ecstatic about this um, definitely ecstatic about this because um, this healing that is coming in and is transferred is going to be bringing you so much um, positive alignment of energies okay it's better that I put in my my air things um, so many positive alignment of energies is going to be um, awakening a lot of you and it's going to be bringing back healing in your life okay a whole lot of transition changes positive but this is going to be in a positive way it's going to be healing the heart chakra it's going to be healing the obstacles it's going to be releasing you from the chaotic situation that has been transpiring and the energy of temperance is, is, is about having patient you have been patient you're going to be learning to have patient and this is going to be extremely positive some of you could be meeting a Virgo some of you could be meeting a Sagittarian if you are open for a relationship um, a Virgo and a Sagittarian is going to be coming in some of you lives so open up to this energy because some of you are going to be healing some sort of a problem that you had with these people so it could be a bad relationship with a Virgo a bad relationship with a Sagittarian um, you are going to be healing this because it's about time to heal the situation let it go and move forward so this is uh, going to be an extremely powerful year expect a lot of unexpected situation okay there we go okay you're going to be giddy from happiness um, it's as if you you are now being released out of some sort of a unexpected situation that was happening in your life you were giddy coming in and you know really like jump not really knowing where you are but um, this is going to be just bringing you in balance this year and this is going to be absolutely fantastic so you know life is about transition there is no question about this it is about transition and it's about uh, um, being aware of where you are and what is happening and what is transpiring you're going to be very understanding of where you are and the situations that is going on around you so you know a lot of you feel as if you were giddy um, of uh, you know just being very giddy um, with life with things that was happening and transpiring and now it is um, all going to be um, balancing out in a very very positive way so um, it's going to be a powerful year. There is no question about this. Um, you know, don't even question um, the whole situation um, because I see that you are going to be extremely, extremely um, stable in the, um, in this year. This year is going to be a powerful a year of alignment of energies for you guys. Use it, run with it, and. Um, remember go and check out the crystal that is above your reading and if another crystal speaks to you um, check that one out also because there is another message for you ladies and gentlemen um, life is changing and 
um, is either you go with the changes or you you're going to be left out in the cold and um, this year for you guys is about uh, the sense of maturity being mature and dealing with things in a very mature energy and this is going to be absolutely absolutely fantastic so again ladies and gentlemen um, enjoy um, and remember to use the crystal use the link below in order to connect and receive your message from the, the crystal please thumbs up like and share these videos namaste until next time